court judge in the state of New Jersey. I did this through the and we are so proud to have, be surrounded by so many members of our family, our friends, our colleagues, and John's new colleagues from Burlington County, who made the long trip across the Mason-Dixon line to join us here. It's true. Before we start, I just want to give some special thanks to assignment judge bookbinder from, from Burlington County and John's assistant, Erica, who's now my new best friend for all of their assistance in putting this great event together. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So tonight, I could not be more proud that John is joining the New Jersey Judiciary one of the most respected judicial systems in this in the country and is well equipped with some of the most brilliant legal minds and hard-working judges and i cannot be more proud that john has joined this elite group so some of you who are, who are non-lawyers and not involved in the legal system might be wondering what does john do every day well john has been assigned to burlington county which is a little bit south of here and John has been assigned to the family division in Burlington County. So what do they do in the family division? Well, you, some of you may have, have an idea. John helps couples get divorced. He assists couples with their child custody issues. He helps with domestic violence issues, and he handles some juvenile criminal matters. But what you don't know is that John is preparing for his TV debut. Now, he's not going to replace Judge Judy, don't worry. And he's not going to replace Judge Alex, his doppelganger. But what John has been doing lately is he's been spending his day delivering life-changing news to the men of Burlington County. And he tells them, you are not the father. Move, move over, Maury Povich. So you all had ample opportunity to meet our twins, Sydney and Spencer. They're, they're five years old, and they just started kindergarten last week. And we're so excited that they're here with us. And you might be wondering, how much, how much do they know about what's going on here? Well, they know that John's a judge. They know that John carries a gavel. And they had a really fun tour of the Burlington County Courthouse from Judge Bookbinder uh, a few months ago. But there still seems to be some confusion on their end as to what this job really is. And a few mornings ago, I was getting, ready, getting them ready for school, and they came down the stairs with their backpacks on, and they were wearing pajamas. And I said, guys, what, what are we doing here? What are, you, what are you guys wearing? And Sydney turned to me and said, well, Mommy, if Daddy gets to wear a bathrobe every day to work, <laughs> we should get to wear pajamas. <laughs> Seriously though, I mean, with the robe, I had, I had no idea what the financial benefits of this job were going to be for John. And already our dry cleaning bill has been cut in half. <laughs> Did you guys have any idea that judges don't have to wear pants to work? <laughs> Good, I'm so glad I made her, finally made her laugh after five years. <laughs> So being elevated to a judgeship is really an honor for any lawyer. It's really the, the pinnacle of, of a lawyer's career. And, but let me tell you some things that make this a par particularly momentous occasion for my husband, John. So John, I understand, is the third youngest judge in the state of New Jersey. He's, li he's like Doogie Howser. He's, he's quite possibly the tallest, too. He also might be the first member of the judiciary to come from a seventh tier law school. John, John where, did, where did you go again, John? I went to Quinnipiac. Oh, Quinnipiac what? Yeah. What, what was that again? Quinnipiac. Oh, oh, God bless you. And you know, one of the other things is John made this whole complicated process look easy. And I am so proud of him for that. But, you know, we're here, you think you're here celebrating John tonight, but what you don't realize is that we're, we're actually here celebrating me. I'm, I'm an attorney as well. I spent ten, the last 10 years of my career as a litigator um, at Forzio, Bromberg, and Newman. And, and I have been striving from, throughout my career to be a great lawyer. But I keep hearing the saying that people keep telling me, and it's that good lawyers either know the law or they know the judge. Well, finally, I got something going for me. I know it does. <laughs> so, on a serious note, John, there are a lot of people in this room that are proud of you, but I can tell you that nobody is more proud of you today than your parents, my parents, your sister, your children, and me. Our 
children are, are still young, but they don't really understand the magnitude of what you've accomplished. But I can tell you that in my career as a lawyer, I'm inspired by you every day. And I have been since the day that we were in Union County and I was watching you try cases. You, I knew even then, when you were a young lawyer, that you were a brilliant trial lawyer. Really. The kids, the kids don't understand this, but someday they're gonna understand that their father had a, uh, a lifelong commitment to public service that is absolutely admirable. And they're gonna understand that you gave the process of becoming a judge as something that you strive for and something that, something that you wanted. And they're gonna understand that you put a lot of, a lot of hard work into that and commitment. And, and John, I'm confident that if you put a quarter of that drive and commitment that you put into your career so far into your work on the bench, I am confident that you are going to make the cover of the New Jersey Law Journal Judicial Survey. I'm, I'm confident. I know you judges in the room love that that publication so much. But I know you're I know you're going to make it. I do have things on your whole map. And by the way, John. Okay. The kids and I we're starting our own survey at home. And we're going to start judging you in some categories. And they're, they're going to include competency in making school lunches, knowledge of laundry procedures, and my favorite, ability to fairly weigh evidence and arguments given by the twins. John, when I was in law school, one of my favorite classes was torts. And that happens to be an area that I'm practicing in today, despite not receiving much of a stellar grade. Um, and when I was studying, I love the concept of the reasonably prudent person. And as I was studying, you know, I learned all about what, what someone's supposed to do and doing the right thing and doing things by the book and, admire, and really having a deep admiration for this person. But at that time, I didn't realize how much I loved the reasonably prudent person. And I didn't realize that until April of 2004 when I met you. And like the reasonably prudent person, you have the perfect temperament to do this job. You're well balanced and fair, and I know that you are gonna do a great job on the bench, and that we're gonna see huge things from you in the future. Now, John, no, I know everyone wants to uh, con continue the night and, and get some food, but I wanna give you one last piece of advice before, before I close. And this is gonna come from my perspective as, you, as your wife, as the mother of your kids, and as a litigator. And here's that advice. Are you ready? <laughs> Don't be afraid of the appeal. <laughs> Don't fear the appeal. There's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> After all, John, you speak you're us? overruled all the time at home. <laughs> you have nothing to fear. So with that, Let's raise our glasses to John for this momentous accomplishment as we wish him a long career as a, as a member of the New Jersey Judiciary. And before, before I finish, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize some important people in the room that we are so fortunate to have with us tonight. Um, Senator uh, Kip Bateman from Somerset County is here. Hunterdon County Freeholder Director John Lanza we, we have two Supreme Court justices with us tonight, both of which John and I call dear friends, and we are so lucky to have you here. Justice James Coleman, who I'm blessed to have as a colleague at Porzio, Bromberg, and Newman, and Justice Helen Holmes. From Burlington County, we have uh, Simon Judge Ronald Bookbinder. We have Judge Belgard, Judge Breland, Judge Dow, Judge Geringer, Judge Haynes, Judge Harrington, Judge Kelly, Judge Nocella, Judge Smith, Judge Tarantino, and Judge Walls. We also have the Burlington County Trial Court Administrator, Jude Del Prior. We're also honored to have some judges with us from the Somerset, Hunterdon, and Warren vicinage. Uh, Judge Pacheca, Judge Kasem, Judge Reed, Judge Rubin, Judge Su, Judge Tober, and Judge Wilson. We're also lucky to have with us tonight the Hunterdon County Prosecutor, Anthony Kearns. And we are also very fortunate to have the Union County Prosecutor, Prosecutor's Offices brand new acting chief of detectives, Vince Gagliardi. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'd like to turn things over now to assign the judge bookbinder.